Renault has been a long-standing client of Publicis, a client that demands the most polished technology-assisted advertising available. Renault sees their product as high-quality, high-tech, with enormous emphasis on design and requires the same from its partners, especially us, Renault's advertising agency. Renault Clio is a top-selling car in our region, and in order to portray this position, Publicis has conceived an event for Clio resellers that reflects the key Clio features – ecology, safety, design, sportness, technology. It's always a challenge to show so many key features in one physical event, but I believe we nailed it. Of course, the event consists of many, many different elements, like set design, lighting, music, dancers, food and drinks, but what made this event special was the projection mapping technique used to portray the Clio story. When Publicis approached us with the idea, we were of course very, very excited. TrueFS truly believes to be the highest multimedia technology service provider and we took the project as a fantastic challenge. Combining computer-generated graphic skills with architecture, film techniques, lots of mathematics and overall aesthetic polishness. Time constraint was enormous, but I still believe we did a great job. Renault Clio projection mapping had to be done in top secret. Uh, we could not see the actual car until only a week before the event. So months of uh, production time were done using simulation uh, only with the help of 3D model Renault has provided us with. This created additional obstacles, uh, but uh, thanks to the precision of the given model, we were able to uh, succeed in simulating 90% of the given scenario uh, in our 3D environment. New Clio is a really good sporty looking car with some really interesting new design features, but uh, headlights were especially tricky because they have a lot of details and we really had to um, show them uh, and amplify them so the public could see um, the new Renault design language. In this kind of projects, constant changes in the last minute are given. Lucky for us, we were capable of simulating almost all scenarios internally using high-end software, but some stuff was of course untestable until we actually got the car itself in a proxy environment with all the projectors installed. We worked closely with Publicis event production team, solving many problems as we went along. Luckily, all the people involved were extremely professional, so migraines were almost always avoided. Projection mapping is a very complex technology, trying to fake real space using 3D graphics, compositing multiple projectors and projection scenes, music, sound effects, and all this synced to a fracture of a second. Our pipeline is usually based on Cinema 4D. We truly believe this is the most optimal software for the given job, allowing us fast-paced production and fantastic communication with post-production software such as After Effects. Cinema's strong point is scripting node-based system called Expresso. Using that allowed us maximum possible freedom when syncing projection cameras, 3D effects and other crucial elements of CG production. When you work on an extremely tight schedule, you better not make any mistakes in the rendering process. Since Murphy applies to CG as well, we also made mistakes and final shots needed some post-production polishing. Given Cinema's fantastic multi-pass render and export to After Effects, we made it through. Every time there is complex element in the project, you are always hugely limited by time, at the end, by budget as well. 3D graphics and never before tested projection mapping pipeline put even more pressure on the team. New ways of working had to be invented pretty much from scratch so we could provide the expected wow factor. In the beginning, we believed that attacking this projection mapping beast will be a pretty straightforward job. Unfortunately, we soon realized that uh, we would need twice the team, twice the time and four times the budget in order to deliver. So we had to take a few steps back, mathematically analyze the problem and think uh, out of the box. Brute force was out of the question. After a few weeks of testing, we polished the idea of so-called parallel projection mapping using simulated camera mapping techniques with a lot of post-production polishing. This means that uh, once the projection points of views were defined, 
we could simulate camera mapping inside of Cinema 4D, rendering full-scale effects only once and later only adjusting already rendered frames via camera mapping again, fixing the seams of accidentally moved projectors. This technique saved us months of work. When we established how we will match the projectors on site, we could proceed with the final rendering. The workflow was really straightforward. First, we rendered everything to multipass to have it ready for After Effects. Then we applied the color correction, depth of field, motion blur, and rendered that to a sequence that was used as a texture inside cinema. That texture was projected back from the parallel camera onto the car, and the final step was to render what the projectors in 3D see. Taking shortcuts uh, without risking the quality is the key in with the effects industry. What we did with uh, parallel projection mapping was really crazy, but we also had to use some other tricks um, in other elements of the whole animation because of time constraints. Um, like for instance, the engine animation, there is no actual 3D engine model at all. All in all, it was a really interesting and fun project to work on. It took three visual effect operators, three projectors, two months, without a real car until the very end and uh, with classical advertising constraints around the last minute changes to achieve this quite impressive projection mapping element of overall fantastic Renault Clio event. We were happy to be a part of it.
Damn it was tough, but we did it. I need some sleep now.